Olive Schreiner and Mahatma Gandhi were two luminaries of their time in their struggles against British imperialism. And many people know that Gandhi spent a period of his early life in South Africa. The National Library is really lucky to have in its possession certain copies of each of their works. And these are absolutely wonderful in their own right. But part of the beauty of the NLSA collection is that you have the opportunity to stumble across real unexpected treasures, um, such as this letter over here, which I'll talk about just now. Schreiner and Gandhi actually met in South Africa in 1910 and maintained a correspondence for the next five years. And this letter is actually the only surviving letter that we have available of um, writing from Schreiner to Gandhi. Now the first thing you'll notice when you look at the letter is a fairly glaring typo that she makes on, uh, on Gandhi's name. So as a rule, you should try to spell the name of the person you're writing to correctly. But in all seriousness, this letter is a really striking example of not just a respected and warm friendship that they shared, but an insight into two very different worldviews that come together over here. So on the one hand, we have that of the white, liberal, educated woman, um, intelligent, lofty, um, erudite, in, uh, intellectual. And on the other hand, we have the voice of the oppressed, um, the um, unrepresented subaltern. And in this letter, Schreiner is giving Gandhi a bit of a ticking off because she feels as though he's reneging on his commitments to pacifism. And this is during the time of the First World War and Gandhi is saying, basically, he, he has said that he would throw his weight behind the British government and Schreiner feels like this is uh, going back on, on, on his principles. Um, in today's climate, a lot is made of positionality, and this is a, a, a sort of perfect illustration of the difficulties within positionality. And hopefully it engenders some sort of debate around whose side you would really take on this matter. And it's, it's one of the things that we're trying to do with the exhibition is to create a conversation. Um, so for that reason, this is one of my favorite pieces that we have here.